Oh, you're not my way. Huh? Are you making a movie? Uh, making a video, yes. It's a rare Mrs. AP sighting. Well, that's a shame. Bye. Right. What are you guys up to? Where the crosswalk police were checking out people that are parking in the crosswalk. Yeah, at least let me, let, let, let me, let me pose first, brother. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I just need one stamp, please. One stamp, 58 cents. That was very special. Thanks. How's it going, guys? I'm Agansett Press, and we are coming to you today from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, we are at the US Post Office here in Kansas City, and it is the Country Club Station. And we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me just give you a little view of the neighborhood here where we are. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Noise will get better in a second. Today is Wednesday, May 18th. It is 3.01 in the afternoon, and it is 81 degrees, sunny and beautiful in Kansas City, Missouri. I uh, hope everyone out there is having a good day, uh, enjoying whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing it with. I uh, hope you got a little sunshine going on where you are, and if you don't, I uh, hope you're making some of your own. So. Uh, so it'll be a good one here today. Stand by. Hey, Megan, out there watching. What's up? What's happening? Nice out. Yeah, it's beautiful. What a day, huh? Kansas City, Missouri. So we have uh, Jimmy John's, Mike's, Wines and Spirits, Baskin Robbins. I'll probably be hitting up after we're done with the uh, audit here. Party Warehouse, Optical Innovations, there's a store for lease and a Panera Bread. And then uh, you have a bunch of uh, smaller mom and pop shops here, which is nice to see uh, going down the sidewalk. Mom and pop shops are sort of disappearing from the landscape these days. And uh, always good to support your local, uh, local business peeps. Box stores are making enough money. So every once in a while, if you can, go visit your local stores. I'm sure they'll very much appreciate you. And uh, as you can see, this uh, post office is on a public sidewalk, directly on a public sidewalk. Interesting location, we don't get very many of those. So uh, plan is, as usual, uh, we are going to hang around outside here for a little bit. We'll check out uh, whatever we could see here from the outside for you. And then uh, we will be going inside to get a stamp and uh, show you the inside of the post office, give you a little tour of that, and see, uh, see how friendly the folks are here in Kansas City, Missouri. Stand by. Might as well take a look and see what kind of signage we have on the doors here. Okay. So, uh, notice. Lobby hours are changing or have changed. This is back in January. Effective immediately. So the lobby will no longer be open 24 hours. Usually, uh, what they mean by that, 24 hours, I'm sure most of you know, but for those who don't, uh, they will lock the retail area usually with a gate and then leave the post office box area accessible so people can go in and check their mail after hours. Shame they uh, can't do that any longer for some reason. They still have a uh, face covering required sign up, which is no longer the case. Expired um, in October of 2020. Yeah, this sign was supposed to come down October 31st in 2020. And for those of you who aren't aware, that's what that means there. You uh, always have these little insignias down at the bottom corner of uh, these signs on the post office uh, doors. And it'll have an up arrow that says the date it was to go up. 
and a down arrow for the date it was to come down. And then uh, just hours of operation and uh, federal holidays that they observe. Am I in the way? Oh, you're not my way. Huh? Are you making a movie? Uh, making a video, yes. Sorry? I'm just kind of in the middle of it right now, but if you give me a few minutes, I can explain it to you. Okay. Thanks. So uh, that lady just went into the Ace Hardware store. If she comes back out and actually asks me again what I'm doing and she's really interested, I, uh, I'll probably tell her. Um, you guys got to understand, a lot of times, I've said it before in videos, but people will ask you. She's coming right back out. She's pointing at us. So she must have just gone in there just to uh, tell the people in the hardware store that we're out here taking some video. So uh, what I was going to say was, a lot of times people will ask you what you're doing. You'll stop what you're doing, take your time to uh, take the time and start explaining to them, and then they just keep walking away. Um, so that does happen, and uh, well, absolutely, sure, thank you. And uh, either that, or they'll start some kind of an argument with you. I don't know. You have to take these things on a one by one basis. You never know who you're dealing with or what their motive is, or. Uh, what they're going to do with the information you give them if they're going to go inside of the post office and be a hero and tell everybody what's going on. So, uh, just got to use a little, uh, little diligence there. You having fun? Uh, I don't know, are you? No. Well, that's a shame. Give it a shot, man. You might enjoy it. Get my dollar out for my stamp here. Oh, I only have a 10 on me today. I'll have to get some change. There you go. Make the make the people smile, man. That's all we can do these days, right? Thanks. Appreciate you. Thank you. Put a little dance for us. Nice, see? What the hell happened to normalcy in this world, man? Why shouldn't you see a couple of guys with cameras and do a little dance for the camera and feel good about yourself and laugh and smile? Anger. Everybody's angry. Everybody's ready to rage. Cool it out, man. Stop watching the damn news. Get outside and count the flowers in your backyard and take a walk. Look up at the sky. Pick something you've always wanted to do in your own neighborhood. You don't even have to go that far and get out there and do it. Take your kids. There is nothing to be miserable about. There is nothing to be sad about. There is nothing to be depressed about. That's all in your mind. You ever see the meme on uh, online? There's a big horse tied to a plastic chair and the horse will stand there all day long because he thinks he's tied to something and he can't move. Cut the rope between you and the plastic chair and get over it. You know, we've kind of, uh, I say we as a collective we, we've kind of just accepted the fact in this country that there's horror going on in the world. And uh, we need to feel very, very, very badly about that and uh, very stressed out and shaken up and uncertain about the future and all kinds of stuff. I'll tell you a little something, guys. I have a feeling the world's always been that way. Uh, sometimes it's worse, sometimes it's better. But uh, my suggestion is you make the best of what you got. When life gives you lemons, make margaritas. But seriously, it is a shame. Um, I'm going to challenge every one of you watching this video to uh, do something different. Do something different. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Seek discomfort, as they say. Um, and you might find the other side of it. You know, a lot of times you're supposed to go out somewhere and you really don't want to go, but you have plans and you're kind of dragging yourself to get dressed, dragging yourself down the stairs, dragging yourself into your car. Blah, blah, I wish I could have just stayed in bed. And then you get to wherever you're going, you get into it and it becomes very nice and you're glad you went out and you have a wonderful time. Um, life's kind of that way. Get out. Yeah, you have a good day, too. Appreciate you. Thank you. And keep that beautiful smile on your face. Don't let anybody take it away from you. It's a rare Mrs. AP sighting. Put the smile back on your face. And uh, don't feel guilty about it, either. You know, if everybody else around you wants to make themselves miserable, uh, maybe they're just waiting for someone to step up to the plate and show them it doesn't have to be that way. So be that person. Spread joy. Spread love. Spread light.
you know, obviously, uh, as I always say, I'm not delusional here. I'm not living in a uh, false reality or anything, but, you know, I know it's a real world we're in, and you have to remain vigilant. You got to keep your ears open, your eyes open, and uh, pay attention to what's going on around you. Put the cell phones down when you're out in public. But, you know, don't expect the worst out of people. Don't expect the worst out of situations. And, uh, you know, keep a good view. Keep a good, uh, a good positive attitude. You might amaze yourself what that'll do for your life. Because like they told us when we were kids and none of us believed them, life does follow your thoughts, at least your life will. And you might even drag a few people into the happiness with you. Give it a shot, challenge on. Oh, and we had some uh, great barbecue last night. Went to a uh, place called Joe's on the Kansas side. And uh, I think it was actually in Leewood where we did our last video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a uh, link in the description. I invite you to check it out. But uh, man, they ain't kidding. The barbecue in Kansas City is fantastic. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm, I said you might get a hella cool picture of a dude on a scooter. Oh, cool, here. right on. Yes. <laughs> hey, a guy with a smile on his face, having a good time. Are Nothing you guys wrong doing with a that. Commercial for Ace. No, no, we're actually working on a story about the post office. Oh, cool. So I just backed up a little bit to get some of the flowers in the shot and be like, here's a douchebag who's dressed in the right colors. No, don't talk about yourself like that. You're having a great time, man. I think you that look fantastic. True. I am at, I, the best time. I snuck away from work and they're paying for me to buy a steak. So they're paying for you to buy a steak. Yeah, I'm like doing a Zoom lesson on. Uh, oh, right on. A steak because I live in Kansas City. So what else do we know how to do? That's cool. <laughs> there you go. I was just actually saying we went to Joe's uh, um, in Leewood, I think it was. Yeah. Yesterday, man, great meal. Oh, it's so good. They're not lying not, about that Kansas City barbecue. Yeah. Are you not from here? No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, Joe's is great. Arthur Bryant's definitely worth hitting up. What is the name of it? Arthur Bryant's. Arthur Bryant's. Yeah, okay. That's where the presidents go when they come in town. Really? Okay, yeah. cool. So I'm gonna have to so bust out my presidential credit card. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get the uh, platinum card yeah. out for that one. Where are you from? South Dakota. Awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, dude, have fun. In first time in uh, Missouri. First time. Well, not first time in Kansas. Yeah. But first time in Missouri. Yeah. How do you say Missouri? Uh, Missouri, but I'm from Seattle. So. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> For a couple of transplants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think people only say Missouri if they're from like the middle. Gotcha. <laughs> we were in, uh, where did we go? Sedalia. Uh huh. I didn't really notice that there yeah. either. Yeah, I guess Honestly, it wasn't far enough out into the middle. Dude, I really only like, I'm here or like Overland Park or Lawrence. Gotcha. And that's kind of about it. All about that work. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you're a young man. You got to work while you can. Yeah, that's, that's it. true. Yeah. It's true, man. Well, have fun with the commercial. Yeah, appreciate you, man. <laughs> Keep smiling. Have a great time. Hey, have a good one, dude. Yep. And, uh, you know, I did, that brings up a good point. When we uh, go through the comments at the end of the day here and uh, see what you all are writing, um, a lot of times, believe it or not, well, not a lot, but you know, every once in a while, I would say 98, 99%, according to YouTube's uh, analytics, our videos get thumbs up compared to thumbs down. So uh, the vast, vast majority of you all out there are really appreciating what we're doing. And I uh, can't thank you enough for that. And it uh, gives me hope that this, uh, this world's not past fixing. But, uh, you know, there are always a couple of people that say, oh, who wants to hear about your positive attitude nonsense and you're preaching about having a nice life and being nice to other people? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, any of you people that leave those comments, I uh, am handing you a platinum invitation to unsubscribe and leave the channel right now, um, if that's what you want to do. And you can go watch other people um, and watch all of their drama and uh, whatever you want to see. Um, you know, and I get it. I'm not a fool. I understand drama is uh, entertaining and it's interesting and uh, You know excitement and police and all that stuff that goes on but uh, The truth of the matter is none of us really want that I don't think none of us want that in, in our real lives You know if you want drama and you want that kind of thing go to a movie watch a movie, you know get some uh, Go to a, go, go watch a uh, play or an opera or something if you want drama. Um, in my real life, I'd rather have this. I'd rather have uh, people being nice and courteous to each other and smiling and enjoying their day and spreading the good vibes around. And, uh, you know, there's no reason not to do that. Like I was saying before, we've all kind of been bamboozled into this uh, feeling uh, obligation to feel uh, sad and depressed about what's going on. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous. You need to question that and figure out why. So, uh, yeah, 
if you uh if you're not into the good vibes and you're not into things going well when they can and people out living their lives and enjoying their lives and hope for the future unsubscribe and uh, there's plenty of channels out there that'll welcome you in um you know you are going to see some drama on this channel from time to time that we do not create uh sometimes those things just happen and uh you know like i always like to say we enjoy our videos to uh come out very organically we let them happen as they will um i meet courtesy with courtesy and asshole with asshole and that's just the way it goes um so yeah there's my little uh furious rant for you this guy decides to park right next to me for some reason with his engine running in the crosswalk not sure what that's uh be considerate too, man. You see how the crosswalk's being blocked right now? Don't park in crosswalks, please. How's it going? Sorry? What are you guys up to? We're the crosswalk police. We're checking out people that are parking in the crosswalk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's my mission for today. Oh, that's a, that's a crosswalk? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Shoot. See, it's a good thing we were here. Man, good thing. Yeah. Dang. Almost made the right choice, buddy. <laughs> That's all right. There's always tomorrow. Was that guy asking you what you're doing when he's parked in the crosswalk? Yeah, he asked me what I was doing. I said I'm out here looking for people parking in crosswalks. He almost made a right decision and went back and moved his car and then decided not to. I'm only going to be in there for a minute. The guy in the wheelchair can wait. How's it going, boss? Yo, at least let me, let, 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 me, let me pose first, bro. You oh, you, you, you're first. looking good just yeah. the way you nah, are. No, hell, I ain't. I am. I'm out. This work clothes. That's right. You look like a good, happy, solid guy out doing a day's well, labor. Well, some days. Some Nothing days. wrong with that. <laughs> I've done plenty of days labor myself. Some days are better pictures than some other pictures, you know? That's it, man. Some days are diamonds and some days are rocks, right? Hey, you know what? I tell you what, man. Always looking like a working man is always a good picture. Yes, sir. A working man is a good picture. What about yeah. a lazy motherfucker that don't do nothing? Yeah. Why didn't that give him a picture? Why you give him a picture? He ain't did shit all yeah. day. Look at lazy motherfucker. Give a picture to a person that really just appreciates Get that picture. Get down and do some work's good for the brain, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, man, he's on his butt all day long doing nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what are y'all photoing for? Oh, well, we're just out making a video about the post office, as strange as that sounds. Yeah. Well, hey, it's, 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 some people make. take pictures of birds. Some people take pictures of trains. Some people do videos on post offices. Man, that's like a badass camera, man. I like y'all do some stuff with them. Like yeah, appreciate cameras. you, man. All right, brother. Have a right good on. Day, you have man. a good day, bro. So what is the, the top part be audio? So what is, would that be audio? That's a microphone, yeah. A microphone, yeah. I got it for you, yeah. Right. Just got that wind saw, uh, what are they called? A dead cat. I'm trying to catch it. Keep catch the wind out. Keep the wind out. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah. But well, right. appreciate you, man. Keep smiling. Keep having a good day. Spread that around. The world needs more of that. Well, all right, guys. It's uh, 345. 347 post office closes in about 13 minutes um everything went well out here i would say and uh you know very uh very good experience on the outside we'll see how it goes on the inside um hoping for the same but you never know so stand by ready there watchman we'll get mrs ap another stamp oh thank you sir is it cool in here yes it is all right, no pets allowed. Loitering and soliciting is prohibited in this building. Drop off mail. So mail pickup is at 10.30 a.m. Uh, they don't have the prices listed for the boxes. That's what I thought we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know the Union Station location, they're open till maybe about 6, 6.30. Okay, okay. Down the the so this is for the Monday to Friday. So here we have our poster no seven. Saturday. No Saturday, our, our big location is open over on the break. Oh, okay. Some other signage. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. And you have some uh, packaging, priority mail, shipping supplies. Spread the love.
and uh, some Hallmark cards over here. And that's uh, pretty much the uh, retail area. Hello. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I just need one stamp, please. One stamp, 58 cents. 58 cents. There'll be a dollar soon before we know it. Yeah, they go up to 60 cents in July. Goes up to 60 in July. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'm old enough to remember 13 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a customer tell me three cents, so. Three cents, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't remember that far back. <laughs> You're welcome, oh. sir. So how's the world treating you today? It's been pretty good. It's been a slow day today. Well, I, I guess it's that's the good. weather. Yeah. When you say the weather, because I'm not from here, is it it's warm? Good. Yeah. Yeah. The last, uh, not na last week, because last week it was hot. The two, three weeks before that, we had nothing but rain. Well, I think that's what it is because it rained last night. It's humid out there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but last week, were you guys here last week? No, no, no. Oh, then you missed all the heat we had. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be back. <laughs> yeah, but last week it was like, okay, we got, you know, we went from spring and it was like we jumped straight into summer last wow, week. Wow, yeah. Yeah, well, it, it was like, uh, I think the highest last week was like 97. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, yeah. For, for it to still be May. Yeah. Was, it, was it dry or was it? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, oh, yeah. at least that saved you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right? it was still hot though, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, you have a wonderful attitude. I really Thank appreciate you, you so Five, much. Six, seven, eight, and nine, and there you go, sir. I know it's not easy when a couple of guys walk in with cameras you're and you're okay. not sure. What's I seen going you guys on. out there for a little bit, right on, so I no. figure you guys were doing something. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> no do you know? Problem. Do you know what we're doing? No, I don't. Oh, do you, are you interested? Yes. Oh, so what we're doing is this is my son. Hi, His nice name's, to meet you. Name's Ben. I'm Jason. Nice to meet you. I'm Walia. Nice to pleasure to meet you. No problem. And we've been traveling the country for three years, standing wow. up for people's rights and the Constitution. Okay. That's what we do. So basically, what we do is, which seems a little strange to people until I explain it. It's what was going on. We go into public areas okay. and publicly accessible places where we have every right to be. Okay. And we take video and photographs and see how people respond to that. Oh, okay. And if people are happy and responding happily, we do that right back at them. And if they're not and they don't understand, we tr sometimes we try to explain. Gotcha. Some people aren't worth explaining to. You know, I got so, it. I got you. You know how that goes. I got you. But you are absolutely wonderful. We really appreciate you. No problem. It's great to come in and get a smile and Thank some friendly you. service. And, <laughs> Thank yeah, no, you. No, we appreciate that. Thank you. Not always the case. So. No. Yeah, I know that story. Yeah. One man's opinion. Keep up the fine work. We <laughs> appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, you have a wonderful you day. You too. See you later. Appreciate you. He's one of the better window clerks there is. And this is your okay. post office? This is my post office. I live right here. I used to carry mail out of this post office oh, you did? in 1980. Yes, wow. I sure did. Okay. She built that box you got. I built that right box there right there. there. You did? Uh-huh. That's awesome. I'm glad I, we met I you. I sat up uh, in the by the tennis courts. Okay. And at the 70th anniversary of Brickside. Okay. And the country club area. So I collected memorabilia from people. And the, there's a nurse's hat from the very first graduating class at St. Luke's. Somebody okay. brought me, somebody brought me their Boy Scout banner and everything. It's a wonderful box. That's I was just actually taking some pictures of it. Yeah, That's it, awesome. it needs help. It needs to be well, I'll tell you what, refreshed. I, I really appreciate you explaining that to me yeah. and it really adds to what our video that we're making and I can't tell you how much I appreciate cool it. Beans. We Thanks. love hearing some history and some things going on straight Thanks. from the people involved. Yeah. Yep. But thank, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Have a great, great day. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me, you know, since we just had that conversation, let me give everybody a little take a look here closer look here and if you want to get a even better look you can always pause the video and check it out very cool Hey, not not to interrupt, but I think you need to sign your work. We need to get a plaque up here that says this display created by. Yeah, right. why not? Well, I actually um, I wrote this poem, and it's horrible uh, to read, but um, for other people because of my semantics, it's I'm a Bricksider, growing up with the dime store and cats drugs, knowing it's a place we get and give hugs. Holding the coin purse of red and green mills, we go to Cat's Drugs to get Mama her pills. Brookside Barbershop is where we all go on Saturdays to get haircut from someone we know. Johnny, with his first haircut in Glenn's great big chair, I watched with my face all in a stare. Crossing the street to Border Star School, looking both ways on Meyer the Rule. Knowing Mrs. Bumgardner, the clayroom and naps, wishing my dad wouldn't take a hose to the cats. 
waiting for a sister by that great big tree as she walks home from Southwest to meet little old me. Knowing our life is really the best, hoping it lasts is anyone's guess. Postmaster Bland lived just down the street, and later in life, I walked that mailman mob beat. And as the years passed, and we moved far away, always knowing in my heart, I'd come back someday. Back at 21, because I knew it'd be fun, I raised my sweet daughters in the same Brookside way. St. Peter's is now their mainstay. It's not just the places, it's the people here, you see. It's Virginia, her parades, Glenn, Bob, you and me. Mr. Miner's grocery, with our son's first ties, this is the way we choose to live our lives. Chris at Dos Hombres and the big Brookside fire, making our lives just what we desire. Seeing your neighbors as they grow each day, knowing it's not just a place, it's really life's way. From Greenway Terrace to Meyer, Oak and McGee, as we grew and we changed, Brookside's there for me. That was very special. Thanks. No, and I really appreciate that. Yeah, that that's, uh... Very well written and uh, straight, straight to the heart. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Back at you. Well, all right, guys. Got my stamp. Got my receipt. I shoved it in my pocket with the change, so I'm not going to bother trying to pull it out. But. Uh, That was special, really was. Um, actually got a little sentimental there for a second. Um, you know, it's uh, hearkening back to the way the world used to be and the way life used to be. And uh, we all want to be there again. So, uh, you know, it goes back to what I was saying before about drama, there's a place for drama. And there's a, just like there's a place for violence, just like there's a place for everything. Um, you know, uh, doesn't have to be the way you live your life though. And uh, I think the vast majority of the time, should be spent in uh, reflection and thought and uh, giving yourself an opportunity to relax and calm down, make your own critical decisions, think about what's going on in the world and how you're affecting that and how you can add or subtract from it. And uh, it's all very important stuff and it means a lot. And uh, you know, I had a very good friend back in East Hampton, New York, that used to say, some folks get it and some never will. Um, don't be one of those people that never will. It's never too late. Change the road you're on. Um, but that's it. So always like to remind you guys before we leave that if you like our videos, you enjoy what we do, and you want to support what we do, best way to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know me and a watchman are out here getting an education every day, and uh, I wouldn't change that for the world. And uh, doing those things doesn't cost you a penny, so have at it. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we could find for you here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so coming to you from the clubhouse, or what is it? <laughs> I actually forgot. Country Club Station in Kansas City, Missouri. Watching Watchmen. Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.